guys, it's Adrian. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm here to bring you the finally fall book tag. I have to say, fall and I have a love-hate relationship. Because when I lived in the States, I lived in New England, and that is like the best place to be. The air gets crisp and cold, the leaves turn beautiful colors, it's fantastic. And then I moved to the Netherlands. Fall in the Netherlands is just wet and cold, like in your bones cold and somber and it makes me cranky. So I love fall, I just don't love fall here so much. I have been transferring some of my New England traditions like apple picking and pumpkin picking to my family here in the Netherlands so I can get a little bit of fall. So I still love fall. I love the idea of fall. I love fall from where I come from. I don't love fall from here. Fall is also the time that I have to start straightening my hair because my hair gets huge. I have somewhat curly hair. I can get it to be nice and curly in the summerish, and in the fall it just goes <laughs> So I have to straighten it and usually I don't. And I did a bailiff this. I just put in a ponytail. But for videos, I have to straighten my hair. Anyway, I'm not gonna dwell on how much fall frustrates me in this country anymore because this is supposed to be an exciting tag. I do love fall. I really, I really do. Anyway, let's jump right in. This tag was created by Elena from A Tall Tale, so you should go check it out. I will leave a link to her video down in the description box below. It was really fun to watch. Question number one. In the fall, the air is clear and crisp. Name a book with a very vivid setting. For this one, I'm going with The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. I love this book. Narnia is like the best vivid setting ever and it's like a wonderland minus the wicked witch if the wicked witch wasn't there and it was just winter and i could just go visit it because i wouldn't want to live in eternal winter but wintry scenes oh beautiful even the summer scenes beautiful 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 number two fall is the season where everything is beautiful but dying name a book that is beautifully written but deals with a heavy topic like loss or grief for this one i'm going with a monster calls by patrick ness this book was very tough to read because it deals with a little boy who's dealing with his mom who is terminally ill and it was it was tough but it was beautifully written it was slow i will say that but it was definitely well done and patrick ness did a phenomenal job with describing how this little boy has to overcome everything that he's feeling and dealing with it and knowing that it's okay to deal with it with the death and the illness of his mother. Question number three, fall is back to school season. Name a nonfiction that taught you something. This, this answer is kind of shameful. I don't read that many nonfiction books. I read kind of like a humorous nonfiction book and I read like an eating healthy nonfiction book and I didn't really learn anything new, not anything worth mentioning right now. I need to read more nonfiction. Number four, in order to stay warm, it's good to spend some time with the ones you love. Name a fictional household, family, or friend group that you would like to spend time with this fall. For this one, I am gonna go with the cast of characters from the Infernal Devices. These guys, I would love to spend time with because I feel like they have my sense of humor. You know, minus the whole demon hunting, town worlders kind of thing. Just if they were just normal people, but then again, they might not be so interesting. But if they were normal people, I would love to spend time with them and we would just like bicker and banter and have some dark and humorous moments. Guys, Thanksgiving dinner would be like hysterical with these people. Just saying. Number five, the colorful leaves are piling up. Show us a stack of fall colored spines. Look, I found some. I didn't think I would be able to because most of my books are like fantasy books and they're black. But, but I got some. I got some oranges and some golds and some reds and some purplish because we're going with it. Purple is a fall color. Number six, fall is the perfect time for storytelling by the fire. Name a book where someone is telling a story. For this one, I'm going with the book that I'm reading right now. I don't know how I feel about this book, and I've mentioned that already before because I'm only halfway as I'm filming this video. But the book that I'm talking about is A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius by Dave Eggers. This is a sort of non fiction it's like a story he's telling the story of his life. It's definitely fictionalized, but it's real, sort of. I, I don't know how I feel about this book. Again, I, I can't really give you any thoughts, but he's telling a story, so it fits the question, and that's all you need to know. Question number seven, the nights are getting darker. Name a book that's a dark, creepy read. I don't usually read dark, creepy reads, but this one is definitely dark, and that is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I'm in the middle of reading this one. I'm about 250 pages in, and it's definitely dark. It's almost so dark that I think I don't know if I can read it. Not because it's scary, because it's just dark. 
Definitely a good fall read. Question number eight. The days are getting colder. Name a short heartwarming story that could warm somebody up on a rainy day. For this one, I'm going with An Old Fashioned Thanksgiving by Louise May Alcott. I read this one last year. It's a short story. Maybe like 25, 35 pages. I'm not really sure. And it just talks about Thanksgiving from a family. It's a cute old fashioned classic. I really enjoyed it. It's a quick read and it gets you in the mood for the holidays that are coming up. Thanksgiving is coming and then soon Christmas is coming because fall, guys, is just an introduction to hey here comes Christmas soon. So it's a perfect, perfect read. Question number nine. Fall is a season that returns every year, at least where I live anyway. Name a book that you would like to revisit soon. I'm not the greatest at rereading books but I've got Two. The first one is Little Women by Louise May Alcott. This one I loved when I was a preteen. It's when I read it for the first time. I think the only other time that I read it. And I want to read it with my eight-year-old daughter, I think. So I'm going to reread it this fall. And another one is one that I visit every year. And again, I'm bringing up the same book, The Chronicles of Narnia. Last year we read The Magician's Nephew and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And they think the horse and his boy? I'm not really sure which one we read. But anyway, I want to read another one of these with my kids the fall. I love revisiting these books around the fall time. I don't know what it is. They're just fantastic to read. And number 10, fall is a fantastic time for cozy reading. Name some of your favorite reading accessories. Well, first off we got my glasses that are very dirty because I can't read a thing without my glasses. And secondly, I'm not really a big accessory kind of person, but obviously I like to have a nice cozy blanket when I read fall or summer. It doesn't really matter. I'm always cold. So glasses and a blanket and a book, and I am all set, because that's all you need in life. That wraps it up for the finally fall tag. I'm not going to tag anybody because most of you have already done this video, but if you haven't and you want to do it, by all means do. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite fall tradition? Mine is going apple picking with my family. We went apple picking a couple weeks ago. It's the best part of fall. So share with me some of your fall traditions because I would love to bring in some new ones. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet and you would like to, I would love it if you subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.